We have a 2005 4.2 liter General Motors. We're gonna go through the steps in replacing the water pump. Before performing a cooling system repair, it's recommended to flush the cooling system prior to installing any new parts. Before beginning any repair, disconnect the negative battery cable. Remove the upper radiator hose. Be sure and capture any residual coolant. Remove the power steering lines from the brackets on the shroud. At the top left of the radiator, disconnect electric fan clutch connection. In order to remove the fan shroud, we'll have to disconnect the fan clutch from the water pump. And remove the retaining bolts holding the fan to the fan clutch. Remove the fan shroud bolts from the radiator. As you raise the fan and fan shroud out of the vehicle, be careful not to allow the fan clutch to damage the radiator or compromise the electrical connection. Remove the four bolts holding the water pump fully in place. Using the proper tool, loosen the tensioner and remove the drive belt. Remove the four bolts holding the water pump pulley in place. As you remove the water pump, be sure and capture any residual coolant. Thoroughly clean the water pump gasket surface, making sure to not allow any debris into the water jacket area. Install the new gasket under the water pump and install the water pump into the block. This particular gasket does not require any sealing compounds. Torque the water pump retaining bolts in a crisscross pattern. This is a two-step process. First torque them at 35 inch-pounds and then at 89 inch-pounds. It's always a good idea to clean the inside of the pulley. This will keep from having any imbalance issues. Install the pulley on the water pump and hand tighten the bolts. Install the drive belt. It's a good idea to inspect the drive belt, making sure it's not damaged, it will hinder its reuse. And torque the water pump pulley bolts, two 18 foot pounds. As you lower the fan shroud into place, be sure and keep the fan clutch from damaging the radiator. Reattach the fan to the fan clutch and the clutch to the water pump. Reattach the fan shroud to the radiator and reinstall the power steering lines into the bracket. Reinstall the upper radiator hose and reconnect the electrical connection for the fan clutch. With the repair complete, reconnect the negative battery cable. Fill the system with a 50-50 blend of coolant and distilled water. It's a good idea to test your pressure cap. A faulty pressure cap can lead to an inefficient cooling system. If you do not have access to a pressure tester, these are available at your local parts store. Start the vehicle and turn the cabin heater on high. This will help bleed the air out of the system. Allow the engine to reach operating temperature and check for leaks. Shut the engine off and allow it to cool completely. Top the recovery tank off to manufacturer specs. 